why is everyone naked? Apparently clothing is optional in this neighborhood that Josephine and the children live in. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hathwin and we are back to play some more of the 100 Baby Challenge. And we are wrapping things up with our second matriarch, Josephine, and getting ready to move on to our next matriarch, Jillian. In our last episode, we had our youngest set of twins age up into children, and we also had the oldest, Orion, move out on his own. And so now in game, we just have four kids left. And as we are coming in, we have a raging uh, werewolf in the form of Cain, who is intimidating his mother. So we're starting this episode off great. So it's also the weekend, which means that, you know, we're gonna be doing a lot of skill building and we have a broken toilet and things are kind of a mess at the moment. So Josephine, how about you go repair the toilet and deal with that? Uh, Jillian is being very brave by coming in and interacting with her rampaging twin. Kane and Jillian were twins. Jillian was a werewolf, but we humanized her so she could be our matriarch and we could focus on that with her. I was kind of thinking though that with the new Crystal Creations stuff pack that just came out recently in The Sims, that for Jillian to earn money as she moves out on her own, it would be kind of fun to have her do the jewelry making and all of the gemology stuff. So I kind of want to get a table for the gemology and get that set up. And actually, we can get rid of all of these toddler things like we don't need all of this toddler stuff anymore because we're done with toddlers in this household we will build a new house jillian will move out on her own and have her own place when the time comes so let's get her set up with some gem crafting stuff we have a setup in here for jillian that she can start working on some jewelry making and we may very well have a bunch of crystals in Josephine's inventory. We have some. Let's see what, what we've got stashed here. Okay, not as many as I would have thought. But, you know, it's a, it's a start. I also got the casually cool sales table that she can use for selling her jewelry. She does want to get a skill to level 3, so I feel like gemology is a good choice. And it looks like this got struck by lightning. Oh, we do have some jet right here. Come and claim this. That would be good. And we'll replace the rocket. It was storming, so a bunch of stuff got struck by lightning. So we are replacing a whole bunch of items. And I think let's have Jillian maybe run around and see if we can dig up some metals or some gems for her to start experimenting with. I'm not seeing any rocks though. I'm just seeing like dirt piles, but that's okay. We'll get the dirt piles started and then, oh, there's a rock. And then she can explore from there. All right, Kane is still rampaging. What if you have a wolf nap? Will that help you like calm down? Cause you're like kind of freaked out at the moment. So let's calm you down. So our teenagers, Jillian and Kane, they need to be A students and they have to have a character trait and range to earn it. Since Jillian is our next matriarch, we haven't really like been pushing this super hard just yet. So she is a B student. She does need to get one skill to level three. And I think, you know, gemology might be what that ends up being. Of course, she needs to find some gems and get that going. We do have some silonite, which this is interesting. So if we make jewelry out of this and she wears it, she's more likely to give birth to twins or triplets, which, you know, for the 100 baby challenge, you know, maybe we don't need to be on a ley line. Maybe she just needs to be wearing this around. And then Jet allows you to summon the Grim Reaper. So also fun. And in fact, what if we design some jewelry right off the bat? We start with three different styles that you can make. There's basic, there's chunky, and there's raw. So the basic doesn't take any crystals. It just takes metals. We don't have any metals. We just have crystals at the moment. But you can still like try to make the stuff and then like supplement it with like using money to like fill in the gaps basically. Um, I'm kind of thinking that maybe we... Let's try this raw necklace here. And we'll have to use money to purchase a metal. 
to begin with. I'm kind of thinking something dark with like the other, this lighter metal. So maybe we'll do a heavy metal and let's do the Sheena light. And she can start by making that and kind of get her gemology stuff started. Now, Kane is a werewolf. He is still, still dealing with his rampage. I'm not sure uh, when that's supposed to end, um, but he is still glowing with fury. Uh, <laughs> he also needs to get a skill to level three. His level two skill is logic, so I think that having him do some of that is probably going to be the way to go. His responsibility is close to being in range, and I believe Jillian's is, is. Oh, Jillian's is not quite as far along, but they can work on a school project and get that up. Then our last set of twins, Noah and Carson, are children. They also need to be A students, and they need high confidence. So it looks like Noah needs to reach level four in a skill. Uh, he's doing some mental skill right now. And his confidence is high. Carson's confidence isn't as high, but he, oh, and he's still a C student. So they, they've got a little bit of work to do for them as well. Kane is a big sad wolf from gu feeling guilty around someone nearby. Kane feels horribly guilty about scaring loved ones. It's not easy being a beast at some times. Oh, he's also, he's also a child of the ocean and a child of the islands and he's like feeling sad from lack of ocean somehow this werewolf became a child of the islands and a child of the ocean i don't know how this happened but he's just he's having a moment so he's he's crying it out okay so this guy kent scott has just shown up to fix things i think we'll let him in because i believe between the ghost and the werewolf that are in this house, a bunch of stuff is broken. So we'll let this guy come in and uh, clean things. Here, why don't you two play chess together? I mean, Noah could be a little alarmed to play with the rampaging werewolf, but, you know, they need to get their skills up. Oh no, you botched the jewelry? Better try it again? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, that's... Not looking so good. Okay, well, let's maybe sell it and at least recoup some money for Jillian. That's unfortunate for her. I think we're gonna have Jillian try another design and maybe we'll just start with like the basic earrings and let's go with the Ultranium because it's purple and those will be, those will make for a cool pretty color I think. And then she can work on her gemology skill a little bit more, get that up some. Oh no, she botched her jewelry again! She's not having very good luck. Alright, maybe she is bored because she hasn't been dancing, so maybe we need to get her over here uh, doing a bit of dancing because she is a dance machine. And then maybe she can try again with her jewelry making. <laughs> Well, apparently she also pinched her finger. All right, well, Julian is not off to the best start in jewelry design. So Kane isn't rampaging anymore, but he is still in his werewolf form, very diligently doing his homework. So he's a studious werewolf. They might be, they might no longer be werewolves together, but they are both twins. And so I think it's kind of cute that they've come in and are eating their dinner in the bedroom together. I don't know how Josephine would feel about them eating spaghetti on the bed, but it's still a little cute. All right, now we have a bit of confidence happening with Jillian. So I think this is a good time to try again to design some jewelry. Again, we're going to go with just the basic earrings. We're going to start simple and... She's got that confidence going, so hopefully she is a little bit more successful this time. Okay, she did reach level two in the gemology skill, so that should make things a little better. All right, these have been a success for Jillian, so we'll go ahead and pop that in her inventory. And we have successfully made some earrings for her, so a good, a good start. After, you know, some failed attempts, we made it in the end. It's also like 3 o'clock in the morning and everybody is awake, so let's make everybody go to bed. It is a Sunday and Sunday is kind of the skill day in the house, so 
we're got teenagers working on school projects we're gonna have children working on their homework and their skills and just kind of getting everybody ready for school on monday so that hopefully a's can be obtained well okay noah might get an a carson isn't gonna gonna get an a we aren't going to be able to continue on with Jillian as our matriarch until Noah and Carson are young adults and moved out of the house. So we're not really pushing things a whole lot with Kane and Jillian to get A's and get themselves ready for school because they're not moving out anyway. Although we could move Kane out and just keep Jillian in. We may do that. It depends on how annoying the werewolf becomes. Okay, so Noah has come up and is missing a toy. I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and I can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and feel sad and Josephine is going to encourage him to keep looking for it and increase his responsibility, which is usually the one that ends up getting up. All right, he has done his homework. Um, let's see. And he does have a skill to level four, so he is good there. He does have high confidence now. Okay, Noah needs to do his homework. Let's get him started with his homework, and he does have a skill to level four himself, so that is good. Um, oh, I mean, sure, you can talk to Orion. You're doing your homework right now, so there's that. Or Josephine has, like, no hobby right now. I mean, we could have her maybe start painting. It's not like we've got plenty of money now and we're not like scrapped for funds so maybe she needs to start painting and like have something to do in her elder years and actually where is she at okay she still has a little while before her life comes to an end i was like i don't know how much longer she has okay jillian's responsibility is in range to earn the responsible trait so this is a good thing Apparently Orion wants to talk to everybody. He keeps calling everyone to chat. <laughs> Noah, stop messing around with Carson and do your homework. Seriously, stop it, you two. He has homework to do. All right, Jillian has finished her extra credit work, so good for her. We'll let her have a little, let them have something to eat, and then I think we'll... Maybe send her around again to look for some more rocks and she can work on crafting some more jewelry after she eats. Actually, you know what? So this tree goes to like the Forgotten Grotto or whatever. What if we send Jillian there and see if we can find any rocks or anything interesting there? And there is also Kendrick Charm is naked. All right. Oh, good. Naked Sims. Nothing better than that. Do I have Jillian out digging up rocks and looking for things in a thunderstorm? Yes, I do. I found some heavy metal though, so it hasn't been completely useless. We are going to send her though to the Forgotten Grotto or whatever and see if we can find anything interesting there. And it might not be raining there. Maybe there's something you have to do. Why is everybody naked? Sochi Lewis, put some clothes on. Oh my gosh. We've got rampaging werewolves, we've got naked people, it's like a thunderstorm. And Jillian decides this is an ideal time and place to do her homework. On the bench, in the thunderstorm. I I can't even with the Sims. Like, why why are they like this? Why are they this chaotic? I don't understand. Hun, go home. <laughs> You're our next matriarch. I really need you to not get struck by lightning and die. Thank you, go home. And now she's feeling embarrassed from a privacy violation. And you did not violate anyone's privacy. If people are walking around the streets naked, it's their own fault if you see things that you shouldn't see. It's not your fault. I swear, everything is breaking. This is... We're at that point, I guess, where everything breaks. So let's get Josephine fixing this. Jillian has just given up and gone to sleep. She does need to do her homework, though, because she has not done that. So, did you just leave your homework in the rain? I think she left her homework in the rain. Fortunately, though, there's some homework right here she can work on. Has Kane done his? Okay, Kane has done his. He still needs a skill level three. But again, because these two need to be teenagers and young adults before we can move them out, I'm not worried too much about it. Jillian did find some turquoise as well as some heavy metal when she was out digging for things so we can have her try again to make some jewelry with some of these crystals in them 
but that may wait until she's home from school. We'll just have to see how she's kind of doing. Josephine is awake and sad because she has had a friend pass on. She's kind of reaching that stage in her sim life where she's starting to lose the people that she knew. And so there's a lot of sadness for poor Josephine. Oh, and Carson has lost a tooth. Or has a loose tooth. Right, it is Monday and all of the students are heading off to school and Josephine is again going to have like a day home to herself. Oh, we were having her do some yoga too. So let's have her do some yoga. She can just practice some different yoga moves and do that to get herself kind of centered a little bit, making her feel a little bit better as she is, you know, an elder now. And she's kind of feeling sad still about losing a friend. So it'll help her kind of focus and center herself. Yep, this is definitely the episode where everything breaks. <laughs> Seems to be the way it's all going. It's just everything is breaking. And everyone is naked. Why is everybody naked? Who's naked this time? Juniper Grove, running around naked. Why is everyone naked? Apparently clothing is optional in this neighborhood that Josephine and the children live in. All right, kids have come home from school. Jillian has a B, Kane has a B, Noah has a B, and Carson has a B. Everybody has Bs, so very good. Everyone is a B student. It would be really great if Noah and Carson could get A's when they go to school tomorrow. I think we're gonna have Carson like buckle down and get his homework done, get his extra credit work done. I don't know if I- I don't think I want him to do his school project yet because I think that we want to save that for them being teenagers and that'll help them become teenagers. I suppose it's possible that within the sim week they may be able to age up into young adults. We'll just kind of have to see how it goes. But I think if we get both Noah and Carson doing their homework and doing their extra credit work, they should get A's tomorrow at school. All right, we need to get another skill to level three for Kane. Let's let him eat and then we'll have him play some chess. Because I am kind of thinking that moving Kane out and not having a werewolf to deal with is not the worst idea. Jillian needs some fun, and since she is a dance machine, I think I'm going to have her go do some dancing to get her fun up. She's still, like, dealing with the privacy violation from before. Poor girl. She's, like, traumatized by what she saw. And, I mean, there's so many naked people wandering around. I don't think it's going to get any better for her. All right, fun is looking good for Jillian, so let's do some more looking for rocks and things that she can dig up and get some gems or oh my god there's another naked sim oh wait no that's a werewolf okay hold on I, he looked kind of naked but he wasn't he was just a werewolf crisis averted oh jillian dug up a treasure map i wonder if that will make digging for crystals and metals more successful for her or if she's just gonna get like a time capsule with like a my sim person in it and that doesn't help us with our gemology stuff oh she found some plum bite okay so plum bite is like the crystal to find. So when you take plumbite and you put it in jewelry and you charge it up on the little charger station, your sim's needs will increase slowly over time. This is like going to be crucial for her as our matriarch. I think I want to wait a little bit, make sure that she's not going to fail any more gemology. We are definitely going to be taking plumbite and we are definitely going to be using it in a bit of jewelry to help Jillian out with her needs because as a sim who is going to be having babies and raising babies, she's going to need it. Also, I love how she's just sat right here to do her homework. Apparently, she really likes to do her homework outside. Both Noah and Carson have completed their extra credit work, so they should be in pretty good shape going to school to get an A. Kane is working on his homework right now and he has his skill to level three. And I think, like I said, if he also gets an A, I think sending him off and getting him moved out would not be the worst thing to have happen. Because werewolves are just, they're their own delightful beast. 
All right, we are off to school yet again. Hopefully we will have some A's when everybody comes home and we can get a werewolf moved out and we can get a set of twins aged up and then it will just be a matter of those two becoming young adults. I'm okay with separating Jillian and Kane as twins and keeping Jillian still in the house as a teenager and aging Kane up and getting him out. I'm okay with that just because she is the next matriarch. Normally I wouldn't do that. I would keep them together. But in the interest of not having a werewolf in the house, we're gonna let Kane move out. I also don't think it will be much longer once Noah and Carson come home that before they're ready to move out either. I wasn't joking when I said this is the episode where everything breaks. I think I have either repaired or replaced about everything that could possibly break in this house in today's episode. And everyone is home. Jillian still has a B, but Kane has an A, Noah has an A, and Carson has an A. Everybody has an A. And so I think with that one, let's get the cake out and let's get some birthdays happening here. We are going to start with our very angry, um, the beast beck beckons from a dangerous amount of fury werewolf. Um, come blow out these candles and um, then you can go be a crazy werewolf in Sulani because that's where you seem to want to live and without terrifying your siblings. So Kane is blowing out his candles to age up and he is now a young adult. He had the fabulously filthy aspiration. So we're going to give that back to him and then we're going to randomize three times for his trait. One, two, three. And he is a loner. He's going to be a lone wolf, apparently, which is fine for him. He can be a lone wolf. And then next will be Noah to come blow out his candles. All right, Noah is now a teenager. So we are going to determine what his teenage aspiration is going to be using a random number generator and we will generate between 1 and 16 for that and we got a 10 which is love and so we are now going to randomize between 1 and 2 and we got a 1 and 1 is serial romantic that maybe should have been the one that Jillian got but Jillian instead got soulmate but it's all right and then we're going to randomize three times for his teenage trait 1 2 three and he is a maker so he is a serial romantic neat and a maker it really is interesting the different combinations of traits that these kids end up with oh my and he has got bright pink lipstick okay now it's carson's turn so let's uh get him aged up all right carson is now a teenager and once again we're gonna randomize between 1 and 16 and we got a 12 which is popularity. And there are eight different options to choose from in popularity. So randomizing between one and eight, we got a four and that would be joke star. So he's a geek, but he's also a jokes, jokester. All right, and then three times for his teenage trait, one, two, three, he's a genius. So he's a geeky, genius, funny guy. I mean, checks out. Let's get the teenagers a uh, makeover and also get Kane moved out. Okay, so we've given everybody makeovers and this is Noah now as a teenager. This is his everyday, his formal, athletic, sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather wear. And then this is Carson who is the last of Josephine's children. This is his everyday look, his formal, his athletic, sleep, party, swim, hot weather, and cold weather. And so they are now teenagers and all ready to start high school and hopefully getting A's and getting to be young adults so they can move out soon. And we are going to also get Kane moved out. I think I'll do that though off camera. And so I think we will wrap up today's episode here for the 100 Baby Challenge. I feel like we're getting really close to Jillian really taking over as that next matriarch and really kind of 
starting her line of things with the children, which will be like the third generation now of the 100 Baby Challenge. And I'm looking forward to kind of moving on with that. And I hope that you are as well. Give me some thoughts in the comments below on what world you think that Jillian might want to move to as she goes off to start her life on her own. The one thing to keep in mind is if we're going to be focusing on the gemology stuff and making jewelry, it needs to be a world where a lot of the rocks spawn. Some of the newer worlds don't have as many of those nodes that spawn, and it would just be a lot easier if she could just you know, be in her house and they're spawning around the house. So let me know if you have any thoughts in the comments below on where you think she might live. But thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!